Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. Coming at you with 2019 Tops Museum Collection Baseball. 12 box, full case. Pick your team. Number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Five sold out straight up. Sold out before number four. So thanks, everyone, for doing that. There you go. Right there on the 20th, June 20th. Rich, last spot mojo, Dodgers. Looking for a Koufax. So good luck to him and good luck to everybody. We just dive right into it. Pick your team four has a couple, uh, has just uh, maybe a dozen spots left in one of those serial numbers breaks for the teams. So I think we're not very far away from knocking that one out too. We can knock that out. I mean, this break takes about an hour, a little under an hour. So I'm sure we can get that another one knocked out by the time we finish this. And then we can do another one. So there's six boxes in the back, six boxes on the right. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. All cards ship. So everything will be sent to you. Is nice. Sets that don't have a lot of cards, a little bit higher end, we definitely send all of it. Good luck, everybody. Let's get this started. Stephen K needs a little will the thrill. You do have the Giants. I'm assuming he's in the checklist. Who else is here for pick your team five? Let's get, a, let's get a roll call going. I know Rich is here. Stephen K is here. I saw Boombox earlier. He's got the Yankees in this one. Who else is here? Jeremy Mennel, maybe? He was here earlier. All right, there's Adrian Beltre leading things off. There you go. Arthur's here trying to continue his, his birthday mojo, pre-birthday mojo. It's not until tomorrow, but he's been buying up all week and been hitting relatively nicely. All right, Johnny's here as well, so there you go. There's Tanaka to 99, and Luis Urias, 264 out of 299. Two-color, triple relic, and autograph for Chad Stork and the Padres. All right, so Josh is here, Johnny, Jeremy, Diane, Chad, there you go, Chad, Robert. Nice, good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining the break. We've got George Springer to 150 for the Strohs. And that reveals a Luis Severino, 45 out of 199, archival autograph for Boombox and the Yankees. Karen's here too. Oh, we got, we got, we got everyone, everyone's here. Hi, everybody. Behind Matt Carpenter is dual relic for the Astros, Jose Altuve. And Alex Bregman, 35 out of 50. And that'll be for Ethan. Ethan G. And the Strohs. Behind Mookie Betts is another Padre. Will Myers, 44 out of 75. Quad Relic. Another one for Chad. Chad Stork. Jeremy Mendel has a Tigers. He needs some Tigers hits. All right, that was box one. Box two. Travel day in baseball, so not a lot of uh, not a lot of games going on. I feel like. 
Only two final scores. I was on the Rockies earlier today. They came back to beat the Diamondbacks 6-4 to in 10 innings. Financial interest in them. Did I have financial interest in the Rangers too? I did, and they won today too, 4-2. to two. Other games in progress in the top of the third. Nationals are up 3-0 on the Phillies. Yankees are up 4-0 on the Astros. Bottom of the fourth in the middle of the fifth. Blue Jays. Have a narrow lead, 4-3 to three on the Angels. Middle of the fourth, the Miami Marlins are up 1-0 on the Cardinals. Scoreless in Chicago. Cubs are hosting the Mets. Cincinnati up early, 3-0 on the Brew Crew. And the Twins are up early, 1-0 in the bottom of the first over the Royals. I have financial interest in the Cardinals, Cubs, Reds, and Royals. But it's still very early in all those games, so we'll see how they play out by the end of the night. Looking for some Yelich or some Robin Yount. That'd be cool. We got behind Frank Thomas is Steven Matz. 131 out of 299. Dual relic and autograph going to Bradley. Bradley Quinter with the Metropolitans. Behind Pete Alonzo is a red, Joey Votto, 21 out of 99. Quad relic for Arthur and the Red Legs. There you go, AP. Birthday mojo, birthday week mojo continuing for you. I think it's his birthday tomorrow. Votto Matic behind Andrew McCutcheon is dual relic for the Mets, Yoannis Cespedes. And Ahmed Rosario, 19 out of 35 for Bradley Quinter. The autograph of this guy is what Rich is looking for. And we've got for the Rays, Tommy Pham. 8 out of 25, nice low number on that autograph, Jeremy Anderson. With the Tampa Bay Rays. We were talking, discussing in the first break about how they are thinking about splitting the season between Tampa, between Tampa Bay and Montreal, which would be crazy. When would this happen if if the league and everyone agrees to this? When are they proposing this start? Does anyone know offhand? I know there's an ESPN article about it. I just haven't, just haven't read it. Just haven't gone around to reading it yet. I don't know if they even have those details. Gotcha. Sean lives in the Tampa area and says they're under contract with the city and the stadium through 2027. But who knows? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could say they could break that contract. Maybe some outs in that contract. So, Sean, as someone who, who lives in the Tampa area, what's the story? Are the Rays just not, baseball just not cutting it? Mayor's not happy about that situation, apparently. Are, are the Rays just, just, just not a baseball town? I keep hearing that the stadium's just in the wrong place. That it's got to be where the Buccaneers and where the Lightning play. And that'll solve, that should solve a lot of problems. But do you think, Sean, as a, as a, a person who lives in that area, do you think a, a new, maybe small, intimate stadium on the right, on the correct side of town, you think that would... You think that would help? Uh, 
Or is Florida just not a baseball state? I don't know. A lot, a lot of colleges. Not Florida State's pretty good at baseball. Spring training's there. You would think it'd be baseball would be pretty popular there. And Jeremy Mendel, you got a little tiger on the board. 19 out of 50, Michael Fulmer, meaningful material. Yeah, Sean is saying that it's got to be in St. Pete, or it's got to be out of St. Pete and into Tampa. There's Verlander to 50. And we got Trey Turner, 75 out of 75, quad relic for Bill Anton and the Nats. There's Ted Williams and Chris Davis. Two-color, dual relic, and autograph. 23 out of 50. Oakland A's, Josh Pruce on the board. There you go, Josh. So Sean was saying earlier the Rays had a spot in Tampa, and those plans fell through last December. All right, that's a shame. Also, where did I get this? I don't remember that injury. There's uh, Wilson Contreras, 33 out of 199. Archival autograph going to Robert Grease and the Cubs. So now, for those of you who are in that area, who are listening right now, um, or are familiar with the area, do you think that will help? Or do you think attendance will be bad regardless of whether they have a new stadium in the right place or not? Robert says, I think it'll get better if they, if they move to the right spot. If they move across the bay. I hear that not only is the stadium bad and that it's in a bad area, like I think it's just it's also hard to get to, right? Michael Blunt doesn't think it'll help. He, 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 it'll be better, but still near the bottom. Right. So the, the Sean and Robert saying, yeah, it's hard to get to as well. Stadium sucks. Not the greatest area. Takes forever to get to. Yeah, those, those are recipes for, for people not wanting to go there. You know? That You know what, Jeremy? That's not a bad, that's not a bad uh, marketing ploy. If you could ride, if you can ride a ray there to get there, to go across the bay to get there, I'd do it. Well, move the stadium. Build, build a, build a small, intimate stadium. You know, get it near where everybody is, and it'll be cool. Then give it a shot. See what happens. All right, primary pieces. We got Mike Trout, Nolan Ryan. We got Rod Carew and Vlad Guerrero Sr. So we've got a lot of historical angels there. 18 out of 25. For Ethan and the Angels. Bryce Harper reveals a Tuki Toussaint. 109 out of 299. You know, someone else mentioned that boom box. Not that specific idea, but someone was just, just like... Hey, move that, move the Rays to, to Orlando. And then maybe, I don't know, Disney tried buying a baseball team once. Diane with the Braves. There you go, Diane. Didn't work out. All right, there's Matt Chapman for the A's. And archival autograph, Matt Kemp. 
76 out of 199. Rich with the Dodgers. Matt Kemp for the Dodgers. Now Josh is saying they can't even draw well for spring training. It's a traffic nightmare. Isn't Don't they have like a huge wide world of sports complex there and the Braves train there and blah, 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 blah? I thought it was a cool place to go. There's Zach Granke, 17 out of 25. Three color relic for George and the Diamondbacks. But it's behind the times for for baseball. Oh, the Braves are leaving that? Oh, okay. So, And Rich is saying traffic sucks there too. So, I mean, maybe, maybe we just, maybe just baseball just has to admit and the owners have to admit that that maybe Tampa Bay is not, not not the place. Not the place for baseball. Maybe that's just gotta be, I don't know, is moving the team back, is moving a, a, a team back into the Montreal market? Is that gonna make a difference? Yeah, no question the Rays are playing well. So, I mean, that's why you would think that you would try to create some solutions for that market before before abandoning the market. All right, there's Eloy Jimenez, and behind him is, is Roberto Alomar. 35 out of 50, Indians edition, going to Brad Davis. There you go, Michael Blunt, not, not, he doesn't think that both Tampa and Orlando are not good sports towns. Just too many transplants. There's Travis Shaw. For the Brew Crew, that's going to be for Lou. Steve thinks there's too many teams. I think 30 is a good number. I think they're trying to expand to 32, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's going to happen. There's Jason Hayward, 26 out of 75, quad relic for the Cubs. That's going to be for Robert Grease. And behind Ozzy Alvius is is Franmil Reyes, ten out of two ninety nine. Nice dual relic and autograph. He's been raking Chad Stewart. He's like he hit like his twentieth home run last night or something like that. Crazy. If you told me in spring training that Franmil Reyes would have like twenty some odd home runs at this point in the season, I'd be like, you're crazy. You're crazy. Yeah, the Franimal. Is that what they call him? That's great. I honestly don't know where they would even expand, Steve. Uh, they've been talking Portland. They've been talking, you know, maybe Vegas. Those have been some Charlotte. Those have been some of the cities that have always been kicked around. Char North Carolina is like a huge expanding market. People have even thought that Puerto Rico.
But yeah, I think you got you got to think about moving. Yeah, I heard Nashville too, Evan. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, baseball in Vegas, Jerry Mental. Times they are changing. Once hockey got in there, and now the NFL is in there. You think, you know, NBA will probably go there. You think baseball is gonna miss out on that market? There's the frame. That's the case hit. Yeah, I think the stadium will be a dome. I'm pretty sure that there's a. They're building a new. Triple A Stadium there, and I think that's a dome, or is it open air? I forget. But yeah, I, I think teams will move before they start expanding. I think that I want to say the Triple A team plays in an outdoor stadium. They just play late. They play like they, their games start at like eight o'clock at night, or it's like a balmy like eighty-five degrees or something like that. But I think the new ballpark is domed. Maybe I forget. There's a meaningful material, 19 out of 35. Zach Wheeler, Mets, Bradley. Oh, let's hold off on the frame. Hold that until the end. We've got triple relic and autograph, Danny Jansen, 120 out of 299 for the Blue Jays. And it goes to Ryan Letwin. Oh, yeah, Vegas would definitely build. Yeah, that tri new AAA stadium is only 10,000 people, I think. That's not MLB stand. They'll just build another stadium. They'll, they've got space to build all over the place. I wish I was in construction in Vegas. I'm sure it's competitive, super competitive. There's Luis Severino at a 99. You want to come into focus? There he is. And that goes to Boombox and the Yankees. And the frame behind Ken Griffey Jr. This is the case hit. One per case frame is going to be for the Mets. Three out of 15. Jacob DeGrom Silver Ink Autograph. Nice. That'll be for Bradley Quinter and the New York Metropolitans. I think Vegas could handle a baseball team, though. Robert Grease, Joey Gallo is from Vegas, Chris Bryant, Bryce Harper from Vegas. So there's some roots there for the for the current stars. They could even build. They can build an ownership group. Baseball will probably be the last pro sport to get there, though. I think basketball will get there first.
All right, let's see what we got behind Juan Soto. Just knocking over top loaders. All right, it's Miguel Cabrera, 32 out of 35, two color patch for Jeremy. And the Tigers, a little cat team mojo. Behind Bellinger is Brandon Nemo, 70 out of 299. And that's for Bradley and the Mets. And we've got Rockies. There's Charlie Blackman, 3 out of 25, quad relic for John. And the Rocks. Yeah, you got that cat team mojo with the Tigers. And behind the Ryan Express is Fernando Tatis Jr. 28 out of 290. There's 299 of these. This is the first one I've seen. That goes to Chad Stork and the Padres. Nice, there you go, Chad. Nice. Chad Stork with the Friars. Next box. Yeah, he has been on fire, right? For now, Tatis Jr. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Tatis Jr. being off the DL, playing well. All right, next box. Good luck. Any significant score updates? No, Nationals up 3 nothing. Top of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth, Yankees up 6 nothing. Houston's been reeling the last week or so. They got swept by the uh, Reds. Now they're down 6 nothing, but there's a rain delay, it looks like. Blue Jays are up 5-3 on the Angels. Miami still holding on to a slim 1-0 lead in the bottom of the fifth in St. Louis. Mets are up on the Cubs 3-0. Reds up on the Brewers 3-0. It's just the top of the second. Kansas City up 3-1 on Minnesota. Oh, did you <laughs> Chad B is regretting selling that definitive re uh, definitive redemption that I hit for him. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a tough game, Chad. It's like it's like the stock market, right? It's like the stock market where you're just like, all right, is do I do I sell now? You know, do I sell later? Is this gonna go up? Is this gonna go down? So it's it's tough. What would it go for now? Or do you not even want to look? I don't even want to look. Johnny Bench. And there's Marcus Stroman to ninety nine. Blue Jays, Ryan. Quad relic. Behind Kershaw to 150 is an Oakland A. Nice, meaningful material. Franklin Barreto, 20 out of 25. That's a great patch in there for Josh Pruce and the Athletics. Hideki Matsui reveals a Jose Altuve, 42 out of 50. That'll be for Ethan G and the Strohs.
There's Rhino for the Cubs. And we've got momentous material, Carlos Delgado. Four out of 15 for the Mets. Bradley with the Mets. AP wants to see a Johnny Bench. All right, Arthur, we'll let's try to find one of those guys. Four boxes left. How are we doing on the other uh, serial number thing to fill up Pick Your Team 4? We're still holding at 12, ladies and gentlemen. We can knock out another one right away if we make that happen. Jeremy Mental wants Al Kaline, Kristen Stewart, and some train noises. Wait, there's no, no train whistle in this break so far, right? The one of one's original sketch card of the bay would be pretty sick. All right. Behind Steven Strasburg is meaningful material. Joey Votto for the Reds. 24 out of 50. That's for Arthur and the Red Legs. Behind Trey Turner is Jose Canseco, archival autograph for Josh Pruce and the A's. Roger Clemens revealing a Paul DeYoung two color dual relic at a two ninety nine for the Cardinals. John G with the Redbirds. Walker Bueller. And a quad relic. All different players. All oh, all Japanese players. I get it. Ichiro, Hideki Matsui, Shoei Otani, and Masahiro Tanaka. There'll be a randomizer between the Yankees, Boombox, the Mariners, Jeremy Merle, and the Angels, Ethan Tanny. We'll set that aside here and we'll do that at the end of the break. Next box. Good luck, everybody. We also have half case uh, random team breaks of museum collection, ladies and gentlemen. So that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to get into that. Redemption. It's the first redemption I've seen in this break. So 
that go? Oh, and an autograph right there. So we got a bonus hit. All right, bonus hit. I'm okay with that. All right, there's Tanaka, and there's Jose Abreu, 24 out of 75, quad relic, White Sox, Michael Kuntz. <laughs> Jason Jaspi saying, we got to send it back, it's not fair. It's not fair when we get an extra hit, we got to let Tops know. When there's no hit, we let them know, right? We're like, hey, where's our hit? When we get an extra hit, we're like, hey, let's send it back. Tops, here you go. This this should belong in another box. There's Justin Verlander, meaningful material. 13 out of 35 for Jeremy Mennel. There's a Merle and a Mennel in this break. This one goes to the Mennel. Cat Team Mojo. Yeah, we're we're sending it back, you guys. It's only right. It's only right. If we're miss, if if imagine if, if there are four, if there are only three hits in in a box, we'd be like, Joe, contact your distributor, man. Call up Tops. Let's get that extra hit for us. There's Ozzy Albi or no Ronald Acuna Jr. His friend to 150, and we've got a triple relic and autograph, David Dahl. 99 out of 99. Nice one for John. And the Rockies. There you go, Johnny. All right, so we'll run the randomizer to see which one we're going to send back. There's Rhino. And behind Rhino is archival autograph Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. 104 out of 299. And that'll be for Rich and the Dodgers. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. And the redemption is going to be... It's... It's... You are due to receive a Canvas Collection original. Who? From 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. We'll randomize that to someone in the break. So you're going to get a surprise original sketch. Yeah, that would be a one of one too. Those original sketches are one of ones. Come on, artists. Send, send in your sketches. Hey, Mr. Mike Saddy, what's going on? Day is going well. This is our second break of museum today. We've got a third break coming up soon. All right, so good luck, everybody. Everybody gets a chance at that one of one sketch card, that original. A bonus hit. Wait, they're autoed this year? Yeah, sure. That Scherzer start. Everyone see that Scherzer start yesterday? I love the uh, the post game. He's got a big bruise on the bridge of his nose, and he's. Uh, Big bruise under his eye. It almost looks like he has eye black on.
All right, Giancarlo Stanton reveals a Josh Hader. Look at that patch. That is nice. Six out of 25. Who's got the Lou with the Brew Crew? There you go, Lou. Those are the Brewers colors I like the best. Eh. That's okay. That's classic, though. Got some Yankees. Didi, 50 out of 99. It'll be for the Yankees. Behind Ozzy is, wow, a dual autograph. Thir three out of 15, Will the Thrill and Big Mac. That's a randomizer. The Bay Area Rivals. Stephen K with the Giants who wanted the Will Clark. Unfortunately, it's a randomizer. And Josh Pruce with the Oakland A's. One happy person, one sad person. Good luck, you two. And behind Rizzo is Yoenis Cespedes, meaningful material to 50. It's another Met for Bradley. All right, a lot of randomizers in this one. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. All right. Josh says, I'll lose that random if I can win the random for the sketch card. You might have, might have to make a deal with random.org, Josh. You can contact them. Oh yeah, Josh's like, I'm not greedy. I don't need to win both. I don't know. It could work it could work out, Josh, where Stephen K could win the sketch card and you win the duel. And I guess you can make a trade. I suppose you guys can work something like that out. Last box, boys and girls. We got JD Martinez to 50. And behind him is Yasiel Puig Dodgers edition. 10 out of 25 for Rich. A little extra Dodger Joe Mojo. Behind Cal Ripken Jr. is Trey Mancini out of 299 for the Orioles. And that'll be for Jack. Jack B and the O's. Little Bertie Mojo. Out of 99, there's Strasburg. And he will reveal a Lourdes Guriel Jr. out of 299, dual relic and autograph. Ryan Letwin with the Jays. More bird team mojo. It's a bird box. We've got a Dodger, bird, bird. Let's see, bird? Another bird? No, socks. Primary piece is Mookie Betts jersey, Chris Sale jersey, 
J.D. Martinez jersey and Andrew Bantani bat. Two out of 99 for the Red Sox, Ethan Tanny. All right, there you go, ladies and gents. Time to make people happy and sad. Time to make people happy and sad. It's my job every day. Make some people happy, make some people sad. That's what I do. But happy or sad, hopefully we can at least have a little fun at the end of the day. All right. Randomizer. We had the uh, the uh, Japanese-born quartet. Ichiro, Mariners edition. Matsui, Yankees. Tanaka, Yankees. And Otani, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of Orange County. That's the quad relic. That was numbered to 75. The dual autograph was between Will the Thrill and Big Mac, Bay Area rivals, and everyone has a shot at that sketch card, that one-of-one one sketch card. And in fact, we'll take out that little spot right here for the Marlins, so it'll be one out of 29. We'll get that one. All right. And we'll randomize all three of those lists. Four and a one, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time, team on top, Yankees. They had the odds. That'll be for Boombox. Mark Glassman with the 53 out of 75 quad relic. Nice, that's pretty cool. All game use material. All right, the dual autograph. Once again, four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, stays with Oakland. So that will go to Josh Pruce and the Oakland A's. Nice. And... The Canvas Collection Original. Don't know who it's going to be, so we're going to randomize it to one person in the break so everyone gets a shot at that one. Once again, four and a one, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. Good luck, everyone. After five times, name on top will be... Jeremy Anderson. There you go, Jeremy. Sketch card for you, and those originals are one of one. So, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-woo! With a train whistle to end it. We've got more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your teams, random teams. Check it out. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.